Time for dinner. We are beginning the book of Deuteronomy. These are the words which Moshe spoke to all Yisrael beyond the Jordan, in the wilderness, in the desert plain, opposite Suf, between Paran and Tophel, and Laban and Hostroth and Dizahab. Eleven days journey from Horeb by way of Mount Seir to Kadesh Barnea. And it came to be in the fourteenth year, in the eleventh new moon, on the first day of the new moon, that Moshe spoke to the children of Yisrael according to all that Jehovah had commanded him concerning them. After he had stricken Sihon, sovereign of the Amorites, who dwelt in Heshbon, and Og, sovereign of Bashan, who dwelt at Ashtaroth in Adriai. Beyond the Yarden in the land of Moab, Moshe undertook to declare this Torah, saying, Jehovah our Elohim spoke to us in Horeb, saying, You have dwelt long enough at this mountain. Turn and set out on your way and go into the mountains of the Amorites and to all the neighboring places in the desert plain, in the mountains and in the low country, and in the Negev, and on the sea coast to the land of the Canaanites and to Lebanon. As far as the great river, the river Euphrates. See, I have set the land before you. Go in and possess the land which Jehovah swore to your fathers, to Abraham, to Yitzhak, and to Yaakob, to give to them and their seed after them. And I spoke to you at the time, saying, I am able to bear you by myself. Yehovah, your Elohim, has increased you, and see, you are today as numerous as the stars of the heavens. Yehovah, Elohim of your fathers, is going to add you to a thousand times more than you are, and bless you as he has spoken to you. How do I bear your pressure and your burden and your strife by myself? Choose men wise and understanding and known to your tribes, and let me appoint them as your heads. And you answered me and said, The word which you have spoken to us to do is good. And I took the heads of your tribes, wise men and known, and made them heads over your leaders of thousands, and leaders of hundreds, and leaders of fifties, and leaders of tens, and officers for your tribes. And I commanded your judges at the time, saying, When hearing between your brothers, judge righteously between a man and his brother, or the stranger who is with him. Do not show partiality in right ruling. Hear the small as well as the great. Do not be afraid of anyone's face, for the right ruling belongs to Elohim. And the case which is too hard for you, bring it to me and I shall hear it. And I commanded you at that time all the words which you should do. And then we set out for Horeb and went through all that great and awesome wilderness which you saw on the way to the mountains of the Amorites as Yehovah our Elohim had commanded us. And we came to Kadesh Barnea. And I said to you, You have come to the mountain of the Amorites, which Yehovah our Elohim has given us. See, Yehovah your Elohim has set the land before you. Go up and possess it, as Yehovah, Elohim of your fathers, has spoken to you. Do not fear, nor be discouraged. And all of you came near to me and said, Let us send men before us, and let them search out the land for us and bring back word to us of the way by which we should go up and of the cities into which we would come. 
and the matter was good in my eyes, so I took twelve of your men, one man from each tribe. And they turned and went up into the mountains and came to the Wadi Eshkol and spied it out. And they took some of the fruit of the land in their hands and brought it down to us. And they brought word to us, saying, The land which Jehovah, your Elohim, is giving us is good. But you would not go up and rebelled against the mouth of Jehovah, your Elohim, and grumbled in your tents and said, Because Jehovah was hating us, he has brought us out of the land of Mizraim to give us into the hand of the Amorites to destroy us. Where are we going to? Our brothers have made our hearts melt, saying, The people are greater and taller than we. The cities are great and walled up to the heavens, and we saw the sons of Anakim there too. Then I said to you, Have no dread or fear of them. Yahuwah your Elohim, who is going before you, he does fight for you, according to all he did for you in Mithraim before your eyes, and in the wilderness, where you saw how Yahuwah your Elohim has borne you, as a man bears his son, in all the way that you went until you came to this place. Yet in this matter you are putting no trust in Jehovah your Elohim, who is going before you in the way to seek out a place for you to pitch your tents, to show you the way you should go, in fire by night and in a cloud by day. And Jehovah heard the voice of your words and was wroth, and took an oath, saying, Not one of these men of this evil generation so shall see that good land of which I swore to give to your fathers, except Caleb, son of Yephane, he shall see it, and to him and his children I give the land on which he walked, because he followed Jehovah completely. And Jehovah was enraged with me for your sakes, saying, You do not go in there either. Yehoshua, son of Nun, who stands before you, he shall go in there. Strengthen him, for he shall cause Israel to inherit. And your little ones and your children, who you say are for a prey, who today have no knowledge of good and evil, they are going in there, and to them I give it, and they are to possess it. But you... Turn and take your journey into the wilderness by the way of the Sea of Reeds. Then you answered and said to me, We have sinned against Jehovah ourselves. We ourselves are going up, and we shall fight, as Jehovah our Elohim commanded us. And when each one of you has girded on his battle gear, you are ready to go up into the mountain. And Jehovah said to me, Say to them, do not go up nor fight, for I am not in your midst, lest you be smitten before your enemies. So I spoke to you, but you would not listen, and rebelled against the mouth of Jehovah, and acted proudly, and went up into the mountain. Then the Amorites, who dwelt in the mountain, came out against you and chased you as bees do, and drove you back from Seir to Hormah. And you returned and wept before Jehovah, and Jehovah would not listen to your voice nor give ear to you. So you dwelt in Kadesh many days, according to the days that you dwelt. Then we turned and set out into the wilderness, the way of the Sea of Reeds, as Jehovah spoke to me. And we went round Mount Seir many days. And Jehovah spoke to me, saying, You have gone around this mountain long enough. Turn northward, and command the people, saying, You are about to pass over into the border of your brothers, the descendants of Esau, who live in Seir, and they are afraid of you, so be on your guard. Do not strive with them, for I do not give you any of their land, no, not so much as one footstep, because I have given Mount Seir to Esau as a possession. What food you buy from them with silver you shall eat, and also what water you buy from them with silver you shall drink. 
for Yehovah your Elohim has blessed you in all the work of your hand. He has known your wandering through the great wilderness. These forty years, Yehovah your Elohim has been with you. You have not lacked any matter. And when we passed beyond our brothers, the descendants of Esau, who dwell in Seir, <coughs> away from the way of the desert plain, away from El Yath and Etzion, Geber, we turned and passed over by way of the wilderness of Moab. And Jehovah said to me, Do not distress Moab, nor stir yourself up against them in battle. For I do not give you any of their land as a possession, because I have given Ar to the descendants of Lot as a possession. The Emites had dwelt there formerly, a people as great and numerous and tall as the Anakim. They were also reckoned as Rephaites, like the Anakim, but the Moabites called them Emites. And the Horites formerly dwelt in Seir, but the descendants of Esau dis dispossessed them and destroyed them from before them and dwelt in their place, as Yisrael did to the land of their possession, which Jehovah gave them. Now rise up and pass over the Wadi Zared. So we passed over the Wadi Zared, and the time we took to come from Kadesh Barnea until we passed over the Wadi Zared was thirty-eight years, until all the generation of the men of battle was consumed from the midst of the camp, as Jehovah had sworn to them. And also the land of Jehovah was against them, to destroy them from the midst of the camp, until they were consumed. And it came to be, when all the men of battle had finally perished from among the people, that Jehovah spoke to me, saying, This day you are to pass over at Ar, the boundary of Moab. And when you come near the children of Ammon, do not distress them nor stir yourself up against them, for I do not give you any of the land of the children of Ammon as a possession because I have given it to the descendants of Lot as a possession. That was also reckoned as a land of Rephaites. Rephaites formerly dwelt there, but the Ammonites called them Zamzumim, a people as great and numerous and tall as the Anakim. But Jehovah destroyed them before them, and they dispossessed them and dwelt in their place as he had done for the descendants of Esau, who dwelt in Seir, when he destroyed the Horites from before them. They dispossessed them and dwelt in their place even to this day. And the Avim, who dwelt in villages as far as Azah, the Kaftorim, who came from Kaftor, destroyed them and dwelt in their place. Arise, set out and pass over the Wadi Arnon, See, I have given into your hand Sihon, the Amorite, sovereign of Heshbon, and his land. Begin to possess it, and stir up yourself against him in battle. This day I begin to put the dread and fear of you upon the peoples under all the heavens, who, when they hear the report of you, shall tremble and shake because of you. Then I sent messengers from the wilderness of Ketamoth to Sihon, sovereign of Heshbon, with words of peace, saying, Let me pass over through your land on the highway. I shall go on the highway and turn neither to the right nor to the left. What food you sell me for silver I shall eat, and what water you give me for silver I shall drink. Only let me pass over on foot, as the descendants of Esau who dwell in the Seir, in Seir, and the Moabites who dwell in Ar did for me, until I pass over the Yarden <clears throat> to the land Jehovah our Elohim is giving us. But Sehon, sovereign of Heshbon, would not let us pass over, for Jehovah your Elohim hardened his spirit and strengthened his heart to give him into your hand, as it is this day. And Jehovah said to me, See, I have begun to give Sihon and his land over to you. Begin to possess, 
in order to possess his land. And Sihon and all his people came out against us to fight as Yahats. And Jehovah our Elohim gave him over to us, so we struck him and his sons and all his people. And we took all his cities at that time, and we put, we put the men, women, and little ones of every city under the ban. We left none remaining. Only the livestock we took as plunder for ourselves, and the spoil of the cities which we captured. From Oer, which is on the edge of the Wadi Arnon, and the city that is by the Wadi, as far as Gilad, there was not one city too high for us. Jehovah our Elohim gave all to us. <clears throat> Only you did not go near the land of the children of Ammon, anywhere along the Wadi, Yabok, or to the cities of the mountains, or anywhere, as Jehovah our Elohim commanded us. Then we turned and went up the way to Bashan, and Og, sovereign of Bashan, came out against us, he, all his people, to battle at Edri. And Jehovah said to me, Do not fear him, for I have given him and all his people and his land into your hand. And you shall do to him as you did to Sihon, sovereign of the Amorites, who dwelt at Heshbon. So Jehovah our Elohim also gave into our hand Og, sovereign of Bashan, with all his people, and we struck him until he had no survivors remaining. And we captured all his cities at that time. There was not a city which we did not take from them. Sixty cities, all the district of Ar Argob, the reign of Og in Bashan. All these cities were fenced with high walls, gates, and bars, besides a great many unwalled towns. And we put them under the ban, as we did to Sihon, sovereign of Heshbon, putting the men, the women, and the children of every city under the ban. But all the livestock and the spoil of the cities we took as booty for ourselves. And at that time we took the land from the hand of the two sovereigns of the Amorites that was beyond the Jordan, from the Wadi Arnon to Mount Hermon. Sidio Sidonians called Hermon, Siron, and the Amorites call it Sanir. All the cities of the plain, all Gilad and all Bashan, as far as Salka and Edri, cities of the reign of Og and Bashan. For only Og, sovereign of Bashan, was left of the remnant of the Rephaites. See, his bedstead was an iron bedstead. It is not in Rabbah of the children of Armon. Nine cubits is its length and four cubits its width according to the cubit of a man. And this land which we possessed at that time from Oroer, which is by the Wadi Arnon, and half the mountains of Gilad and its cities I gave to the Rebunites and the Gadites. And the rest of Gilad and all Bashan, the reign of Og, I gave to half the tribe of Menashesh, all the district of Argob, with all Bashan, called the land of the Rephaites. <coughs> Yair, son of Menashesh, had taken all the district of Argob, as far as the border of the Ger uh, Geshurites and the Ma'akathites and called them after his own name, the Bashan of Havoth, Yair to this day. And to Makira gave Gilad, and to the Reubenites Re and the Gadites, I gave from Gilad, as far as the Wadi are known, the middle of the Wadi as the border. As far as the Wadi, Yabok, the border of the children of Ammon, the desert plain with the Yarden as the border, from Kinnereth as far as the Sea of the Arabah, the, sea, the Salt Sea, below the slope of Pisgah on the east. And I commanded you at the time, saying, Jehovah, your Elohim, has given you the land to possess. All you sons of might, 
Passover armed before your brothers, the children of Israel. But let your wives and your little ones and your livestock, I know that you have much livestock, stay in your cities which I have given you, until Jehovah has given rest to your brothers as to you, and they also possess the land which Jehovah your Elohim is giving them beyond the Jordan. Then you shall return each man to his possession, which I have given you. And I commanded Yehoshua at that time, saying, Your eyes have seen all that Jehovah your Elohim has done to these two sovereigns. Jehovah does the same to all the rains which you are passing over. Do not fear them, for Jehovah your Elohim himself fights for you. And I pleaded with Jehovah at that time, saying, O oh, Master, Yehovah, you have begun to show your servant your greatness and your strong hand. For who is a mighty one in the heavens or on earth who does according to your works and according to your might? I pray, let me pass over and see the good land beyond the Jordan, this good hill country in Lebanon. But Yehovah was enraged with me for your sake and would not listen to me. And Yehovah said to me, Enough of that. Speak no more to me about this matter. Go up to the top of Pisgah and lift up your eyes westward and northward and southward and eastward and look with your eyes, for you do not pass over this Jordan. But command Yehoshua the strength and strengthen him and make him brave, for he shall pass o over before this people and chase them to inherit the land which you see. And we dwelt in the valley opposite of Beth Peor. And now, O Yisrael, listen to the laws and the right rulings which I am teaching you to do, so that you live and shall go in and possess the land which Jehovah Elohim of your fathers is giving you. Do not add to the word which I command you, and do not take away from it, so as to guard the commands of Yehovah your Elohim, which I am commanding you. Your eyes have seen that Yehovah did at Baal Peor, for Yehovah your Elohim has destroyed from your midst all the men who followed Baal Peor. Do it again, Lord. But you who are clinging to Yahovah, your Elohim, are alive today, every one of you. See, I have taught you laws and right rulings, as Yahovah, my Elohim, commanded me to do thus in the land which you go to possess. And you shall guard and do them, for this is your wisdom and your understanding before the eyes of the peoples who hear all these laws, and they shall say, Only a wise and understanding people is this great nation. For what great nation is there which has Elohim so near to it as Yehovah our Elohim is to us whenever we call on him? And what great nation is there that has such laws and righteous right rulings like all this Torah which I set before you this day. Only guard yourself and guard your life diligently, lest you forget the words your eyes have seen, unless they turn aside from your heart all the days of your life, and you shall make them known to your children and your grandchildren. The day when you stood before Yehovah your Elohim in Horeb, Yehovah said to me, Assemble the people to me, and I make them hear my words, so that they learn to fear me all the days they live on the earth, and teach them to their children. And you came near and stood at the foot of the mountain, and the mountain burned with fire, to the heart of the heavens, darkness, cloud, and thick darkness. And Yehovah spoke to you, 
out of the midst of the fire. You heard a voice of words, but saw no form. You only heard a voice. And he made known to you his covenant, which he commanded you to do, the ten words. And he wrote them on two tablets of stone. And Yahuwah commanded me at that time to teach you laws and right rulings for you to do them in the land which you pass over to possess. Therefore, diligently guard yourselves, for you saw no form when Jehovah spoke to you at Horeb, out of the midst of the fire, lest you should do corruptly, and shall make for yourselves a carved image in the form of any figure, the likeness of male or female, the likeness of any beast that is on the earth, or the likeness of any winged bird that flies in the heavens, the likeness of any creature that creeps on the ground, or the likeness of any fish that is in the water under the earth. And lest you lift up your eyes to the heavens, and shall see the sun and the moon and the stars, all the host of the heavens, and you be drawn away into bowing down to them and serving them, which Jehovah your Elohim has allotted to all the peoples under the heavens. But Jehovah has taken you and brought you out of the iron furnace, out of the Mistrai, out of Mistraim, to be his people, an inheritance as it is today. And Yahovah was enraged with me because of your words, and swore that I would not pass over the garden, and that I would not enter the good land which Jehovah your Elohim is giving you as an inheritance. For I am to die in this land, I am not passing over the garden, but you are passing over and shall possess that good land. Guard yourselves, lest you forget the covenant of Jehovah your Elohim, which he made with you, and shall make you yourselves a carved image in any form, as Jehovah your Elohim has commanded you. For Jehovah your Elohim is a consuming fire, a jealous El. When you bring forth children and grandchildren, and shall grow old in the land, and shall do corruptly and make a carved image in the form of whatever, and shall do what is evil in the eyes of Jehovah, your Elohim, to provoke him, I shall call the heavens and earth to witness against you on that day that you soon completely perish from the land which you pass over the yard and to possess. You do not prolong your days in it, but are completely destroyed. And Yehovah shall scatter you among the peoples, and you shall be left few in number among the nations where Yehovah drives you. And there you shall serve mighty ones, the works of men's hands, wood and stone, which neither see nor hear nor eat nor smell. But from there you shall seek Yehovah your Elohim, and shall find, when you search for him with all your heart and with all your being, in your distress, when all these words shall come upon you in the latter days, then you shall return to Yehovah your Elohim and shall obey his voice. For Yehovah your Elohim is a compassionate El. He does not forsake you nor destroy you. <laughs> nor forget the covenant of your fathers which he swore to them. For ask now of the days that are past, which were before you, since the day that Elohim created man on the earth, and to ask from one end of the heavens to the other end of the heavens, whether there has been a word as great as this, or has been heard like it. Has a people heard the voice of Elohim speaking out of the midst of the fire, as you have heard and live? Or has Elohim tried to go and take for himself a nation from the midst of a nation by trials and by signs and by wonders and by battle and by a strong hand and an outstretched arm and by great fearsome deeds according to all that Jehovah your Elohim did for you in Mistraim before your eyes? You have been shown it to know that Yahovah himself is Elohim, 
There is no one besides him. From the heavens he let you hear his voice to instruct you. And on earth he showed you his great fire, and you heard his words out of the midst of the fire. And because he loved your fathers, therefore he chose their seed after them, and brought you out of Mithraim with his presence, with his great power, to drive out from before you nations greater and stronger than you, to bring you in, to give you their land as an inheritance as it is today. And you shall know today and shall recall to your heart that Yahovah himself is Elohim in the heavens above and on the earth beneath. There is none else. And you shall guard his laws and his commands, which I command you today, so that it is well with you and with your children after you, and so that you prolong your days on the soil, which Yahovah your Elohim is giving you for all time. Then Moshe separated three cities beyond the Jordan, toward the rising of the sun, for a manslayer to flee there, he who unknowingly murdered his neighbor without having hatred, without having hated him in time past, it might flee to one of these cities and live. Betzer in the wilderness, in the level land, and the Reubenites and Ramoth in Galad for the Gadites, and Galon in Bashan for the Manashashites. And this is the Torah which Moshe set before the children of Yisrael. These are the witnesses and the laws and the right rulings which Moshe spoke to the children of Yisrael after they came out of Mithraim. Beyond the Jordan in the valley opposite of Beth Peor, in the land of Sion, sovereign of the Amorites, who dwelt at Heshbon, whom Moshe and the children of Yisrael had stricken after they came out of Mithraim. And they took possession of the land, and the land of Og, sovereign of Bashan, two sovereigns of the Amorites who were beyond the Jordan, toward the rising of the sun, from Eroer, which is on the bank of the Wadi Arnon, even to Mount Sion, which is Hermon, and all the desert plain beyond the Jordan, as far as the Sea of the Arabah, below the slopes of Pisgah.